This C20 has support for video hops installed. And if you followed the series about shift level states and recently memories, in this video, I'll talk about um, memory groups. And memory groups really makes most sense if you have buttons that will assign values to memories. So I changed how the configuration of this unit has been used so far in these videos to one where we just have basically routing input one, two, three, and four to the output selected by memory group A. And then these buttons will put the value one, two, three, and four into memory group A when I press them. And so far, it looks very much like what we saw before. Now we selected output two. Now we select output three, and we see the labels updates accordingly when I do this. We can also confirm with the software, the video hop software, we can confirm that now we have output four selected and I press this button, we see the route is changing for output four as I press the buttons. So what is the big deal about memory groups? Well, whenever memory groups are used, they contain the possibility of adding multiple values to the memory. So when I press and hold this one, Ha, ah, you see now we have, it says multiple. So we have multiple destinations for whatever we press down here. Currently we see that in uh, on output one and two, we have these two inputs routed to. Let's uh, press this one. And then if you look at the video control or video hop control software, we should now see a change to both output one and two. I press the button now and we see the change. It says RPI 1. I press another button and you see now synchronous output 1 and 2 are routed. If I press and hold this one, no, nothing happens, but I'll come back to that. So just a single press will select it. If I press and hold, it's going to add it to the group. And now as I press it, it's going to be output 1, 3, and 4. So very useful feature, very neat. Let's look at how this was configured. So back to the configuration page that I used and these four buttons, they have basically been assigned setting values to memory group AA. The function set add was selected. So in case of a short press, it just sets the value. Otherwise it adds it to the group. If you use toggle add, then what you get is that you can keep it pressed and then deselect something again. You can also just add or remove, and you can also have a button to clear it all. Up to you, and you can explore these features yourself, but very useful memory group A, which is then selected for as the destination for the routing for the lower four buttons. Now still encoder number two was also set up to do this. And then you'll see um, it will reflect the first selected value in the memory group. But as soon as I turn this one, you will also see how it is incapable. The, the encoder selection of a memory group is incapable of actually setting multiple values. So uh, that's a limitation of that hardware interface component type in this particular case. Another point that I should make in this case is um, that the encoder we used was set to output select for the video hub. And what it does is it sets memory AA just like the actions we just assigned to these buttons selects that memory group. Now, um, just as my argument was before, Sometimes you'll find a more context sensitive uh, action you can uh, bring to do the same. So some stuff like memory group for a video hub, it would be called output select. So if I change this to output select instead, using memory group AA, output one, that would be add, let's set it to, uh, no, in this case, let's choose toggle add. And then we insert it here and increase the numbers. So just a quick way here to, change it for those four. We save and recompile the firmware and we'll see that uh, the advantage we get out of using 
the uh, video hub output select is that we get a better labeling out of the box in the displays because right now what we see is memory group A is the title of those four buttons and I think we can do a little bit better using the uh, particular output select action on the video hub. So what we see is improved labeling because we changed the function to video hub's own output select so it says output in the title line so and it also names what output is on the keys uh, what i additionally did was to choose the toggle select mode which means that as i press and hold yes it selects but it also as a press and hold deselects again if you like that kind of feature it's a small variation of the set add function so that was memory groups